Vocabulary Preview 1. Actor 2. Dancer 3. Driver 4. Instructor 5. Player 6. Singer 7. Skater 8. Skier 9. Swimmer 10. Teacher 11. Typist 12. Violinist They're busy. Listen to the model. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm studying. What are you studying? I'm studying English. Do exercises 1 through 9. You will hear the correct line after you speak. 1. We'll begin. Is Alan busy? Yes, he is. He's baking. What's he baking? He's baking cookies. Two. We'll begin. Is Doris busy? Yes, she is. She's reading. What's she reading? She's reading the newspaper. Three. We'll begin. Are your parents busy? Yes, they are. They're painting. What are they painting? They're painting the kitchen. Four. We'll begin. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm writing. What are you writing? I'm writing a letter. Five. We'll begin. Are you and Tom busy? Yes, we are. We're cooking. What are you cooking? We're cooking dinner. Six. You begin. Is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She's knitting. What's she knitting? She's knitting a sweater. Seven. You begin. Is your brother busy? Yes, he is. He's ironing. What's he ironing? He's ironing his shirts. Eight. You begin. Are Mr. and Mrs. Garcia busy? Yes, they are. They're cleaning. What are they cleaning? They're cleaning their garage. Nine. 
nine. You begin. Is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He's composing. What's he composing? He's composing a symphony. What are they doing? Listen to the model. What are you doing? I'm practicing the piano. Do you practice the piano very often? Yes, I do. I practice the piano whenever I can. Do exercises one through eight. You will hear the correct line after you speak. One. We'll begin. What's Carol doing? She's watching the news. Does she watch the news very often? Yes, she does. She watches the news whenever she can. Two. We'll begin. What's Edward doing? He's swimming. Does he swim very often? Yes, he does. He swims whenever he can. Three. We'll begin. What are you doing? I'm studying math. Do you study math very often? Yes, I do. I study math whenever I can. Four. We'll begin. What are Mr. and Mrs. Park doing? They're exercising. Do they exercise very often? Yes, they do. They exercise whenever they can. Five. You begin. What are you and your friend doing? We're playing Scrabble. Do you play Scrabble very often? Yes, we do. We play Scrabble whenever we can. Six. You begin. What's Mrs. Anderson doing? She's reading poetry. Does she read poetry very often? Yes, she does. She reads poetry whenever she can. Seven. You begin. What's Daniel doing? He's playing baseball with his daughter. Does he play baseball with his daughter very often? Yes, he does. He plays baseball with his daughter whenever he can. Eight. You begin. What are you doing? I'm chatting online with my friends.
Do you chat online with your friends very often? Yes, I do. I chat online with my friends whenever I can. Do you like to ski? Listen to the model. Do you like to ski? No, I don't. I'm not a very good skier. Do exercises one through nine. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. One. Does Richard like to sing? No, he doesn't. He isn't a very good singer. Two. Does Brenda like to swim? No, she doesn't. She isn't a very good swimmer. Three. Do Mr. and Mrs. Adams like to skate? No, they don't. They aren't very good skaters. Four. Does Arthur like to dance? No, he doesn't. He isn't a very good dancer. Five. Do you like to type? No, I don't. I'm not a very good typist. Six. Do you and your friend like to act? No, we don't. We aren't very good actors. Seven. Does your grandmother like to drive? No, she doesn't. She isn't a very good driver. Eight. Do you like to play sports? No, I don't. I'm not a very good athlete. Nine. Does Howard like to cook? No, he doesn't. He isn't a very good cook. Practicing. Listen. My sisters, my brother and I are busy this afternoon. We're staying after school and we're practicing different things. I'm practicing soccer. I practice soccer every day after school. My soccer coach tells me I'm an excellent soccer player. And my friends tell me I play soccer better than anyone else in the school. I want to be a professional soccer player when I grow up. That's why I practice every day. My sister Anita is practicing tennis. She practices tennis every day after school. Her tennis coach tells her she's an excellent tennis player. And her friends tell her she plays tennis better than anyone else in the school. Anita wants to be a professional tennis player when she grows up. That's why she practices every day. My brother Hector is practicing the violin. 
He practices the violin every day after school. His music teacher tells him he's an excellent violinist. And his friends tell him he plays the violin better than anyone else in the school. Hector wants to be a professional violinist when he grows up. That's why he practices every day. My sisters Jenny and Vanessa are practicing ballet. They practice ballet every day after school. Their ballet instructor tells them they're excellent ballet dancers. And their friends tell them they dance better than anyone else in the school. Jenny and Vanessa want to be professional ballet dancers when they grow up. That's why they practice every day. Listening. Listen and choose the correct answer. One. What are you doing? Two. Do you watch the news very often? Three. Are you a good swimmer? Four. What's Kathy reading? Five. Who cooks in your family? Six. Do they like to skate? Seven. Does your sister want to be a ballet dancer? Eight. Do you and your friends play basketball very often? Are your parents good dancers? Ten. What does Peter want to be when he grows up? How often? Listen to the first model. Who are you calling? I'm calling my sister in San Francisco. How often do you call her? I call her every Sunday evening. Listen to the second model. What are George and Herman talking about? They're talking about their grandchildren. How often do they talk about them? They talk about them all the time. Do exercises 1 through 9. In your answers, use every week. You will hear the correct line after you speak. 1. We'll begin. Who is Mr. Tanaka calling? He's calling his son in New York. How often does he call him? He calls him every week. Two. We'll begin. Who is Mrs. Kramer writing to? She's writing to her daughter in the army. How often does she write to her? She writes to her every week. Three. We'll begin. 
What are the students talking about? They're talking about their teachers. How often do they talk about them? They talk about them every week. Four. We'll begin. Who is Lenny arguing with? He's arguing with his landlord. How often does he argue with him? He argues with him every week. Five. We'll begin. Who is Martha sending an email to? She's sending an email to her granddaughter in Orlando. How often does she send an email to her? She sends an email to her every week. Six. You begin. Who is Mr. Crabapple shouting at? He's shouting at his employees. How often does he shout at them? He shouts at them every week. Seven. You begin. What are your parents complaining about? They're complaining about the telephone bill. How often do they complain about it? They complain about it every week. Eight. You begin. What is George watching? He's watching his favorite TV talk show. How often does he watch it? He watches it every week. Nine. You begin. Who is Little Red Riding Hood visiting? She's visiting her grandmother. How often does she visit her? She visits her every week. How to say it? Asking for and reacting to information. Listen. Tell me, where are you from? I'm from Madagascar. Oh. Tell me. Where are you from? I'm from Madagascar. Really? Tell me, where are you from? I'm from Madagascar. Oh, really? Tell me, where are you from? I'm from Madagascar. That's interesting. Pronunciation. Reduced R. Listen, then say it. Who are you calling? What are they talking about? Where are you from? What are you doing?
say it. Then listen. Who are you writing to? What are they complaining about? Where are they studying? What are their names? <laughs>